the Joe Rogan experience. But the question is, like, why would we assume that it's a biological entity? It's, it doesn't have any windows. It's this round thing that looks like a Tic Tac. If there is some sort of advanced propulsion system, some, some revolutionary way of moving through space and time that the U.S. government has developed, you know, in some black ops program, that seems very likely impossible. That seems more likely than aliens visiting us. Mm. But there's more than one incident. And there's a lot of these things. And the possibility of alien life in the universe, although we've never experienced it, seems rational. It seems very rational. And if you were going to study an emerging civilization that is both primitive and warlike and yet insanely technologically advanced to the point where they have nuclear weapons, they can transmit video through the sky, they have propaganda, they have tracking of their citizens, like that's us. Mm -hmm. That's us right now. And while we are these territorial primal beings with fucking nuclear weapons, this would be a good time yeah, to start yeah. exposing yourself yes. and to stop this nonsense. Insan insanity. Yeah. And look, the reason why we named uh, the rooms at our club Fat Man and Little Boy is because in UFO lore, that's when they started showing up. After the detonation of the atomic bombs in Japan, that's when the UFO sightings ramped up. And they ramped up mostly in the U.S., right? Yes. So that's interesting because the U.S. was the one was the nuclear power. So and we were the one who was doing a lot of fucking testing. Yeah, you know, and also we have all these military bases. Who the fuck has more military bases than us? No one. Who has more nuclear weapons pointed at other people than us? We we have them all over the place, and there's all these multiple sightings and eyewitness accounts of like very credible people who say these things have hovered over military bases. It'd be pretty cool if uh, these aliens were benevolent overlords. And they were like, hey, my children. Yeah. You know? Or maybe even so advanced intellectually that the concept of an overlord is preposterous. And they're just yeah. biological management. They're just, there's just the gardeners tending to make sure the weeds don't get out of hand and just like let this process continue to play itself out. Because this process of technological innovation is, it's the everything that humans do. Yeah. It's what we do at the pinnacle of our creation is we make better technology. Well, I always wonder about fractals and whether or not like the, this idea of this being a simulation, this being, you know, uh, like we are we are kind of replicating. We are creating machines and doing our best to create them in our own image. Right. Yes. And that's interesting. <laughs> you know, that's because our the the mythologies that we subscribe to are the idea that this God that we pray to made us in his image. Right. And we're doing the same thing now with robots and, and computers and that's an interesting thing that we see to, to seem to have this sort of um paradigm mm -hmm. this 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 idea that that um that's the scaffolding for the way we think right and to what end and and why are we doing that maybe it's and, the and has it already happened but has it already happened are we are we the result of that that um impulse that happened way longer, a long time ago. I think we I are know. the shit-throwing chimps that are going to become the nuclear physicists. That's what we I'm... are the shit-throwing chimps from 2001 that yeah. become Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah, and then I think this thing that we become is integrated with technology. It's probably some sort of a hybrid. It's some sort of a cyborg. That's wild. Because I, I think we're already like on the verge of merging. You know, all this talk of like Neuralink and all these various things. We watched this video the other day of this guy who is uh, Googling questions and getting answers in his head mm. with his headpiece yeah. on. Have you seen that thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's so crazy. Incredible. Right? So how long before that is like that's Pong? I doop, know, doop, doop, but that's the, the, and then you have the Unreal Four engine in 2023 that looks like a movie. No, no. Like how long before that technology gets to the point where it's just supremely advanced, and we we literally are like gods? But my question really is also the idea that that's engineering, right? That's a tool. It's innovation. It, it, but 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 there's there's engineering. So there there are two aspects to it. One is. Uh, getting information faster and stuff, which doesn't get you closer to the truth, but it gets you information faster. There are endless facts. But m more importantly, um, I, I always wonder, like, why we are given this. I really believe that human potential is pretty much infinite. Whatever you can imagine and beyond, we can do. And we are doing. We, we seem to be doing this. Like, think about how crazy that is. I can wear a headset and I can do things with my mind and, and look up the answer. Yeah. That's insane. That's magic. It's crazier than magic, but there's a way to measure that and quantify that and replicate that. So it's not magic. 
I can do it and I can tell you exactly how I get there, which is even crazier. So uh, what, what is that what is that leading us to? It is nudging us closer. It's it's like the I think it's very significant that we're getting a better understanding of what it's like to be someone else. Yeah. We are. It's it's really hard to say that a, uh, a Yanomamo Indian or whoever it might be is thinks about things differently than I do when I know so much about how all these human beings like someone in Iran, um, someone in Jordan, uh, laughs and cries and bleeds at the same thing I do. Uh, you know, we, 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 it's, it's, it's being prejudiced based on what that person looks like over there is becoming harder and harder to justify. Where it was before we knew about that, we were like, well, those people over there are quote unquote savages or they're this, that, and the other thing. And I do think that we are getting a better understanding of what it's like to be each other and nudge and being nudged in the same direction. I'm not saying we don't, yeah. we don't no, become I think, tribal. I think that's true too. But why? And, and uh, it's interesting to think about where that's, where that's leading us. To, to what to what understanding to what understanding and then when we yeah. have that understanding what are we going to do about that right and are we going to pull it together and are the aliens here to make sure that we don't fuck it up yeah yeah that's the the beautiful idea the, the terrible idea is that it's all us and then it's all the big ruse and it's all just drones that we're doing because we don't want china and russia to know about it but we have insane propulsion systems that operate on gravity and yeah I think it is but us. But I it hate seems, to tell you. It seems like both. It seems like us, and it also seems like there's some shit that we, that we just don't understand. And I don't know if those people are telling the truth. Because if the people that are telling the truth that there's biological entities, and this is what Jackie Gleason said that Nixon told him. And Nixon took him on a, They were drinking. You know that famous story? No. Who knows if it's true? It's, it's a legend. But the legend is that Jackie Gleason and Nixon were drinking and that Nixon said, you want to see some fucking aliens? And they get on Air Force One and they fly to some Air Force base and they go to a place where they have a crashed UFO and they have biological beings that are in freezers. And Jackie Gleason sees this. And Jackie Gleason, after that, has a house built in upstate New York that looks like a UFO. He became obsessed with UFOs after that. There was a house. It was actually for sale at one point in time. The fuck? Yeah. So he has this house that he had shaped like a UFO. Hmm. And this is like, who knows if this is a true story? Yeah. Right. Because it's like it was kind of sort of disputed. His ex-wife told the story or something like that. I forget. I, I, I think that kind of thing is actually impossible to keep secret. No, I don't think so. Really? No, I don't you think, think so. You think generational, at all. like yeah. generations of, of, of government bureaucrats mm -hmm. can keep something a secret? Sure, I they, don't they think tell so. the, the, the people at the very highest level know about it. It's very few people. It's all very compartmentalized. They, they're, they're always... they monitor everyone's phone calls, everyone's emails, mm -hmm. everything impossible. everyone does. Impossible. At a top secret clearance level? No way. Impossible. I don't think you're right. Totally impossible. You're definitely not right. <laughs> I think it's impossible. Listen, man, they can keep secrets. When? People Which at ones? high levels of military can keep secrets. Yeah, but they're People always are... rotating out. They're retiring. They're dying. Yeah, and they probably wind up fucking Hillary Clinton and a lot of those dudes. <laughs> hey, listen, dude. This is not the That's a this verb. is not conspiracy social club. It this might is as the well Joe be. Rogan experience. I, I am not willing to um, relinquish the idea that they can keep that secret. Well, that's because it's I think fun it's, to believe in. Yeah, but it's not just so fun to believe in. It is possible. It's no. a physically possible thing to do. Especially if you have the right people and they're indoctrinated in the right way with top secret clearance And by the way, it's not like these people don't tell their friends and it's not like there's a bunch of stories floating around because there right. are There's a shitload of stories. That's what I'm saying, around. but why why would you like I would never keep that a secret I'd be like hey, well, hey you got fucking aliens. Thing. Here's the thing when you have senators and congressmen who find out about this and they find out that military contractors are the ones who have access to this stuff because the back engineering program has to involve someone who has the capability of recreating this. So who would that be? That would be the people that make jets. If you got someone who's making you a fucking uh, a stealth bomber and you have a crashed UFO, th those are the people that you want discussing like what kind of things you've recovered from a fucking alien crash and can this be replicated? No, here's a problem with your I mean, whole Don't theory. you know me, motherfucker, because you don't man, know. You might be this wrong. This is your wrong? No. No, 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 this no. Is don't your, say you're wrong because you problem. don't know this that I'm wrong. This is the problem with your theory. Ready? Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, and I love that you want to believe in this and so do I, but here's the problem. Okay. There's no law, there's no written law that says I'm not allowed to talk about aliens. And I mean at the level, the top levels of clearance, like the most secret level, there is no world where if I'm a government official and I take a bunch of pictures and I come before Congress and I go, here's my evidence, I'm blowing the whistle, 
there are real aliens. You don't think they would go I'd, after you for I'd, I'd never go to jail. violating your top secret clearance? No, because it's not violating my top secret clearance. It, but because, it would be. Nope. Because I don't think I'd, you're right. I'd never go to jail for that. Because they, they, I'd be like, you're going to put me in jail for exposing what everybody wants to know? The whole world would be like, holy shit, you guys kept but this a secret? But that's assuming that you have access to that material to extract there are enough it people who from would. wherever the place. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe those are the kind of people that wouldn't do that, Brian. Listen. You fucking friend. communist. <laughs> I don't like the way you think. I, I'm blowing. I'm I'm shredding your UFO. Guns. No, you're not. Listen, you're, you think you are, you, but you're just using these establishments. You're allowed to talk points. about UFOs, you sound and you like never your get dad. in trouble. You sound like your dad. <laughs> Come on, man. For you're, stomach you're a CIA and shoulder stooge. beat me up. And, you're a CIA I'll call stooge, my dad right now. And you're in here spreading propaganda to the faithful listeners. Listen to me. This Listen to me. There are no aliens, <laughs> and if there are. Uh, we'd know about it because it's if not there is, you're gonna come law. back on dressed like a clown. Agreed. I, agreed. That's my bets I'm making with everybody now. I'll, I'll dress up like a clown. You gotta dress like a clown. I'll do it. 